Pig's birthday. Mommy and Daddy Pig are decorating for the party. There, that looks good. And meanwhile, Peppa is throwing George a tea party. Now that you're older, you can drink tea like a big kid. Here you go, George. Isn't the tea delicious? George, manners please. Now tell me, what do you want for your birthday? Dinosaur! George, you talk about dinosaurs too much. Quack! Dinosaur! See, even Polly Pellet agrees. And one final touch, the cake. Kids, you can come down for the party. Oh, George, did you hear that? Let's go get dressed for your party. Come on. Let's see what to wear. No, too frilly. Perfect. Your turn, George. No, those are your pajamas. A Halloween costume. Now that's just silly. Quack! Too silly. Now that's more like it. Now let's go downstairs for your party. Birthday party! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! Let me light the candle. Dinosaur! That's right! We made a dinosaur cake, your favorite. Now blow out the candle. Now let's eat up so we can open your presents. Delicious! Now time for the presents. You have a yellow present, a purple one, a red one, and a green present. Ah, wow, George, you have four presents. Inside George's first present is a bicycle. Yay, bicycle! And George's second present is a rocking horse. Yay! Wee hee hee hee! And inside George's third present is a little red wagon. Rainbow wagon! If George doesn't get a dinosaur in his last present, he'll be very disappointed. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And inside George's last present Ooh. is a big dinosaur. George loves playing with his new presents. There's still one last present. Huh? There is! What is it? We're going someplace very special and far away. Pack your bags and meet me in the car. <gasps> An adventure? Let's go, George. Is everyone packed and ready? Yes, but how far away is it? Very far away. We're going to the airport and we'll fly there in an airplane. Wow! But is an airplane scary? No, no, not at all. They're the safest way to travel. Even safer than a car. But first we must go to the airport. Now get in. I can't wait to get there. Don't drive too fast. Alright! This'll be fun! Now let's go to the airport. Are we there yet? Patience, Peppa. Oh, here we are. Hi there, Peppa. If you guys would like to ride on the plane, just park your car and hop aboard. Righto. Alright, now follow me to the plane. Isn't it beautiful? Wow! Take a look inside. We have one, two, three seats. But there are four of us. There's not enough room for us to sit. Oh my, that is a problem. No, no, not at all. I could sit up there. Daddy Pig, that's where the pilot sits for flying the plane. But I played a few flight simulators in college. How hard could it be? All right, suit yourself. George, since it's your birthday, you can get on first. You can go second, Mummy. All right. Now it's my turn to go on third. And now time for the expert pilot to sit in the cockpit. Daddy, where are we going? You'll have to wait to get there to see. It's a surprise. I'll put your luggage in the back.
All right, everything's secure. Prepare for takeoff. Let's see, what does this button do? Whoops! Are you sure you know what you're doing? Yes, yes, there's just more buttons than I remember. Let me try this one. Ah, oh, here we go. Prepare for takeoff. Whoa! Daddy, can you fly straight? I'm trying, Peppa. It's harder than it looks. We're almost there. Yo! Ah, oh, I see it. Oh, wow! We're coming in for a landing. There, perfect flight. I'm quite dizzy. We'll be taking a taxi home. Yay, bear! That's right, George. And we have all day to play. Are you sure we should have popped the plane right here? Oh, it's fine. I'm sure everyone does it all the time. George, since it's your birthday, what would you like to do first? Mmm, dinosaur. Of course you'd want to play on the dinosaur first. Peekaboo. Look, George, it's your friend, Richard Rabbit. Yes, I imagine there'll be many friends here at the fair. How about you kids take turns? Whee! Your turn, George. Whee! <laughs> dinosaur. I like swinging on the swing. Peppa, look up here. Watch. It's your friends, Pedro Pony and Candy Cat. My friends are here. I want to play with them. Woohoo! Meow! Who wants to play on the seesaw with me? I will. I'm coming down. All aboard the train for the fairgrounds. Grandpa Pig. Grampy. I hear it's someone's birthday today. Hop aboard and I'll give you a tour. Okay, Grandpa. Hee <laughs> hee, train. Enjoy the train ride, children. We'll walk over here and meet you. Walk? Yes, you need the exercise. Aww. All aboard. <laughs> Here we are, children, at the main fairground. Wow, can we get off here? Of course, children. Have fun. I'm off to the next stop. Ta-ta. Look, George, a merry-go-round. Which one would you like to ride? Green dinosaur. Of course, I should have guessed. I think I'll ride the red horse. Come on, Susie, there's two of us in three seats. How about you ride with us? Okay, Peppa, I'll ride the yellow duck. Whee! Yay, I love it! Come on, Daddy Pig, what's taking so long? Uh, uh, uh. Walking can be so difficult. Peppa, now that your family is here, would you like to see my magic mirror booth? Sure, Susie, show us where it is. Here's my magic mirror. Let me see. Hmm, it makes me look really silly. But it's not really magic, is it? Sure it is, watch! Abracazam! <laughs> Susie, what did you do? Hee 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 hee! Susie, you turned me back this instant! Abracazam! <laughs> You, but I don't like magic very much at all. Candy, candy, get your snacks and candy. Mr. Potato! Did you say candy? Yes, would you and your family like some? I have red strawberry, pink peach, orange orange, green melon, and blue blueberry, and lollipops of many different shapes. What would you like to try? I would like red, pink, and green, and a lollipop shaped like a heart. And what would you like, little boy? Blue, orange, and star. All right, here we go. Let's see, three pieces for the boy, four pieces for the girl, three plus four is seven, 
That'll be seven dollars. Seven dollars for candy? Don't worry, all the money goes to a good cause. And look, Daddy, I have two dollars that I can use to help pay for it. Let's see, seven minus one is six. Seven minus two is five. I need five more dollars. Here we are, five dollars. Plus my two dollars equals seven dollars. Very good. Enjoy your candy, children. Thank you, Mr. Potato. You're very welcome. See you later. What would your children like to do now? Let's go on the Ferris wheel. Yay! Oh, it looks like we'll have to wait. Come over here, Peppa. I'll paint your face while you wait. Oh, good idea. Thanks, Rebecca. What would you like me to paint? I can paint elephants, lions, and lots of other animals. Hmm, how about a tiger? All right, hold still. There, what do you think? I love it, thank you. Peppa, hurry or you'll miss the ride. Come in, Mommy. Rawr! George, I hope you had a wonderful day. It's just our way of saying... Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Best birthday ever! Hmm. It's morning time. And it's Pororo's birthday today. But first, he must get something to eat. Hmm. How about a cucumber, an apple, and a yellow pepper? Now to turn the oven on. And now to set a timer so he doesn't forget the oven. Aurora would like some toast as well. But where are Aurora's friends? Have they forgotten his birthday? Maybe they're outside. But there's no one there. No one at all. <laughs> it seems Pororo's friends have forgotten about his birthday. Pororo is sad. Krong, krong. Hmm? Krong. Pororo's friends didn't forget about his birthday. And they brought presents. Can you count them? Great job! Oh no, Ferraro forgot about his toast and his timer for the oven. And now the overcooked food is burning the house. <laughs> There's smoke and they need to get out. There's Ferraro, Eddie, Krong, Petty, Poby, Tong Tong, and Rody the robot. All the friends are safe. Ferraro has an idea. He knows just what to do and Krong and Eddie want to help. It's a fire truck, and Pororo and Krong hop inside. And Eddie's gonna climb the ladder to the bucket. Ho ho! Together they're gonna put out the fire. Off they go. The Pororo rescue team is on the way. Time to put out that fire. Good job, Eddie. I'm gonna get me, get me. Oh dear, there's still one small fire inside the house where the presents are. But Pororo has a secret plan. His special fire truck transforms. Now let's see what's inside the garage here. Would you look at that? It's a tiny fire truck with Pororo inside. He could use this to sneak into the house and put out that fire. Let's put him on the launch pad. 
and lower the track. Let's switch the lane and Pororo's to the rescue. Now to use his hose to put out that fire. Great job, Pororo. <laughs> Yay! Now Pororo can open his presents. Let's see what Petty brought. Thank you, Petty. It's a red sports car that looks really fast. Now for Rody's gift. Woohoo! It's Teo the blue bus. And this bus has its own lights. What a great gift from Rody. Now for Krong's present. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's a green street sweeper. And it has a sweeper on the left and the right for cleaning the streets. Pretty cool. Thanks for the gift, Krong. Now let's see what Tong Tong has brought. Thank you, Tong Tong. It's a little orange taxi. Taxis drive people around that don't have cars. Let's see what's in Eddie's present. Thank you. Look at that. It's a big orange cement mixer. Cement mixers mix concrete for the sidewalks. Now there's one last gift from Poby. Thanks, Poby. It's a blue SUV made just for Pororo. What a thoughtful gift from Poby. Now Pororo and his friends want to play with their new cars. Sure was fun playing with all those presents. Uh, 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 you. Oh no, not another fire! Wow, who put it out? <laughs> Great job, Pororo! If you liked the video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments how many birthdays have you had. One last snack and my vending machine will be ready. Yay! Now my vending machine is ready for business. Hi there, Sky. What's this? It's my snack machine. Would you like to try it? Sure, I'd love to. Let's see. I'll have some gummy chews. Wow, it's such a great idea to put a vending machine here. You're going to have a lot of customers. Mmm. Thanks, Eddie. I'm so proud of my idea. Oh, what a great place for a vending machine. I could really use a snack. <laughs> Drinks, drinks, get your ice cold drinks. <gasps> what? Huh? A drink? I'm really quite thirsty. That's right. We have apple juice, orange juice, carrot juice, and if you like something sour, lemon juice. All right, let's see. I think I'll have carrot juice. Mmm, refreshing. Chase, you're taking my customers. Don't be silly, Sky. Pororo can buy from your vending machine, too. Actually, I can't buy anything from Sky's vending machine. I used my last coin on yours. Urgh! Chase, why can't you set up somewhere else? Relax, Sky. What's so wrong with a little friendly competition? In fact, let's make it a contest. Let's see who can sell the most. All right, let's do this. Come on, everyone. Try the best vending machine in Adventure Bay. Crong crong. Krong! Over here! Over here! I have the best drinks in Adventure Bay! Can you take all my money? <laughs> huh? Aww. Ha! 
Ha <laughs> ha! I think I'm gonna win! Well, we'll see about that. Hi, Sky. Can I try your vending machine? Of course, Marshall. Hmm, this looks good. Mmm! Hey, what are you guys doing over here? We're having a contest to see who can sell the most snacks. And it's time to see who won! Let's see, I have one, two, three, four, 